I'm just taking the fat off right now. I'm not going to actually take it apart until everybody's weighed everything out. So, everyone just, just want to keep on measuring out your ingredients, okay. Okay. and then I'll do this once you're all ready. Mm -hmm. I'm done this I'm going to turn on the grill I'll turn on the broiler uh, that will only take about 15 minutes to preheat and then once you're ready with your skewers uh, for your kebabs you can grill them anytime um, and then after that we're just going to get our lamb shanks out we'll get the spice blend onto the lamb shanks get them into the fridge uh, in individual bowls so that you know whose is whose you can keep them in this fridge you can keep them in this fridge wherever you want uh, and then we have them to braise tomorrow okay so today's a fairly light day uh, tomorrow gets a lot heavier and Friday is heavier as well. We've got a lot more recipes to do on those two days than we did today. So um, we'll just get through this now. So all I've done is I've taken off 
uh, I've taken off all of the fat and all of the silver skin uh, that sits on top of the, of the leg on both sides. And then I can now start seeing where each of the muscles uh, begin and where they end. So you can see here where there's a seam and there's a seam here. That's one muscle. This is the top sirloin, which sort of comes from up here. We have an outside round, which is this section here. All of that becomes the outside round. So that would be all of this area of your leg. And then we have this sort of heart-shaped muscle here, which would be the inside round. So it would come from the inside of your leg. Um, and then we also have this muscle here, which is just sort of the cushion, which kind of wraps around, the, wraps around or just above the kneecap. So once you take all the fat off and all the silver skin, that's what allows you to see where the muscles begin and where they end. So a lot of the butchery I don't even need to do with a knife. I can simply use my hands because I can see where the muscles separate. I will have to make some cuts, but the fewer cuts I make, the cleaner those muscles are gonna look after I've taken them apart. So I'm just kind of trying to loosen things up to see where the things begin and end, and then I can start making cuts to separate and release. So here, I can see that this all goes all the way over here. I can just release that. I can open this up and make simple, easy incisions. side round. So this is also made up of a couple different muscles and if you can see the seam there and see all the seams here this part can come off. So in the grocery store if you see a beef eye of round long and cylindrical this is the lamb version so this is the lamb eye of round. Everything on here is usable I don't need to trim any of this fat this is all good fat that would break down in the, in the cooking. These would be good for kebabs as well, some sort of meat skewer. Then we have the rest of the outside round here. This I'm just going to take off. That would just be scrap meat and we could make that into ground meat, just like the ground meat that you're using today. And as I'm working along here and taking the muscles out, I'm, pretty, I'm seeing more silver skin and more fat. So as I see it, I need to remove it. And this all becomes just trim. Always trying to use nice, clean knife strokes so that we're not sawing and hacking away at it. We want it to be nice and clean. that's where we need to be. And then I have this sort of triangular piece that comes off as well. So this is all good meat. And then when I do that, I expose more silver skin under here, which has to be removed. Okay, so now I'm left with a clean piece of outside round. And these two pieces are perfect for sort of for making skewers as well. So what I can do is I can take off a little bit here. I can take off a little bit of this end. You could roast this piece of meat whole if you want, or you could cut it down into cubes for a skewer. Okay, so you got some perfect meat for a skewer there. And same with the eye of round. 
kind of a perfect size to make skewers. Okay. So this is all. This meat here is part of the lamb shank. So the lamb shanks that we have today, this will all be connected as one. But because it's sort of falling off at this point, I'm just going to take it off. And this meat can all be cleaned up and it could be used for ground meat. So we could take all the silver skin off, we could take all the fat off, we could put it through a meat grinder to produce ground. Okay, so up here, there's this muscle here. Again, this can be something that can't really be roasted, but you could take the, you could clean this up, take the fat off, and it could be ground meat. Now I'm left with up here, I have that piece which is the top sirloin. So there's our top sirloin. A little bit of trim could come off of here, a little bit of fat there. But for the most part, this doesn't need to be cleaned up anymore at all. You can take off this little tip, that can go to ground meat. And again, this works perfect for more skewers. You can take this, cut this into three, and then we can cut cubes from there. Again, perfect for using for a skewer. Okay, so that's all good for that. Now we have our inside round, which is the muscle on the inside of your leg. It sort of has this fat that sits on top of it. You really want to expose the whole muscle itself, which is this. And this becomes our inside round. So a little bit of silver skin, a little bit of trim to remove from the exterior of it. And again, we have all of this fat and silver skin to remove. Okay, so that's our inside round. You could roast this whole if you want, like a piece of meat. Uh, you could pan sear it, pan roast it. Uh, you could also cut it up and do cubes with it as well for, for, for skewers. I'm just gonna leave it whole. The last muscle we have is the cushion. This one becomes sort of the easiest one because it's all wrapped around the femur, which is your, your, your bone on this part of your leg, and it's wrapped around it. So it becomes pretty easy because all you have to do is find out where the bone is and just keep cutting all the way around the bone. Okay, once 
once we get it to this point, we just need to cut around the kneecap. And there's the cushion. And again, we still have a little bit of meat up here that can all be trimmed. Take the fat off, take the silver skin off, and it's perfect for grinding. We have our bones here with very little meat left on it. You can roast the bone, you can take the shank off, you can braise the shank. You can make soup, yeah, for sure, perfect for soup. Um, and then our cushion, our cushion, this is the one that takes the most amount of work because it's built, the cushion is built up of a number of different muscles. So once I have it at this stage, and I go in from underneath here, and I open this up, you can see all the different muscles that make up the cushion. So there's a muscle here, a muscle here, another muscle here, one here, one here, and one here on the end. So this is what requires the most amount of work for very little meat. Um, so we need to remove all of the silver skin, we need to remove all of the fat, and then basically the only thing we can really do with this is clean it up and use it for ground meat. There's not, because once this is all cleaned up, each of the muscles is very small. They're only like this big, so there's not much you can do with them except for grinding. So you can see there that there's two different muscles there. By the time I clean up all this silver skin, there's gonna be very, very little left. So even if I just show you now with a little bit, I get underneath. And there you can see there that we're not left with a whole lot of meat at all. So basically it needs to go to grind. Here, I can trim up a bit more of the silver skin as I go along. And then you can see here, now we can see where the muscles start to separate. So anytime you see a line of fat or a seam like this, you know that that's a different muscle. trim that. Got a little bit of work to do there, but again, perfect for grinding. We have to go back, remove the silver skin that I've now exposed. So, managed to keep a pretty good sized piece of meat there. You could saute that, you could pan fry that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's free and clear of fat, it's free and clear of sinew. So now it's just basically a completely lean piece of meat. So it has no fat, it has no connective tissue, so you could use that for roasting. Again, another piece that you could use for light roasting. And that is it. So that's basically our cushion. That's our inside round. This is our outside round for cubes. We have our bones, our trim, and any meat that we can clean up and use for grinding or anything you wanted, really. So that's it for the lamb leg. I just wanted to show you that. That's just in the manual to, to, to do this sort of demonstration for that. Um, at this point, you're free to make your meat mixes. Um, and you can grill your kebabs. Uh, I'm going to turn the grill on, I'm going to turn the broiler on, you can cook them, uh, and then you can present them to me for tasting however you like. Um, and then after that, we'll get cleaned up.